Welcome back everybody. I uh, picked up some new stuff recently and uh, some stuff that had been in the pipeline for a long time. We'll kind of look at a lot of different random stuff today. This being one of the most, probably the neatest thing that I've got in my collection at the moment. <clears throat> this is a Hot Wheels. It is from the Chara Wheels series. Um, I had ordered this thing a long time ago when I was looking at a bunch of different brands. You can see this Chara Wheels. So this is a Hot Wheels line that was exclusive for Japan back in 02 through 04. Um, this one is called a Machine Hayabusa, which apparently was an anime series in the mid-70s back in Japan in 1976. It was only one year. Uh... Pretty cool concept. It's uh, two racing teams, one good, one bad. The hero, of course, has to avenge the death of his brother at the hands of the other bad team. Uh, but when I saw this, I had to get it. Bandai is the other part of the collaboration with Hot Wheels on this. <clears throat> and when I was looking at a list of diecast makers bandai was on there i'd never heard of them so i checked it out and come to find out they were actually uh in cahoots or in collaboration with hot wheels so this is just a little product review of something from about 20 years ago maybe a little bit less a series that was exclusive to the japanese market and you can see all the really cool Stuff that you get with it. it actually previewed some of the 2002 main lines um, you can see a couple that we've reviewed on this channel actually so I thought this was really cool I ordered this way back in March I guess because of COVID it just got here recently and um, yeah we'll take a look at it so this vehicle in the series won the race uh, because it had a jet engine as its uh, power source and it's really a cool vehicle and this is a full die cast body look at the design I mean the the graphics are great it looks familiar in terms of Mattel wheels and you can see the Mattel trademark right there again this is called machine Hayabusa I don't uh, have any proficiency in pronouncing Japanese words or names so I probably butchered that but the card art is just super cool look on the back here so that's what that's what we'll start with today um, put him right over there all right next up you guys know how I love my Norev and I love my Citron vehicles. This is a DS19 that comes from the Norev Retro Series. It uh, is a really cool vehicle. In fact, I did a little research on the car itself. and This car is pretty famous and very um, as famous as it is cool. So this is a 1956 model. Um, the Wall Street Journal not too long ago called it the ultimate classic car I don't know if I'd go that far but it does have some some serious chops when it comes to the coolness factor um, you get 75 horsepower this vehicle reportedly if you believe Wikipedia and I think it's true because they made a movie about uh, excuse me a movie about it President Charles de Gaulle of France survived an assassination attempt um, and gave credit to the Citron vehicle and, and how reliable and tough it was. He escaped and pledged his eternal loyalty to riding in Citron the rest of uh, the rest of his days. And this is just a super cool car to look at on top of all that. You know, going back to that quip about it being one of the ultimate classic cars in 1999 actually it placed third in car of the century by classic and sports car magazine so you can see painted headlamps tail lamps 
badge. Um, it is a metal body, a plastic base. It's got rubber tires. It's got authentic wheels. It's two-tone. It's got some silver trim along the roof, along the sailplane. Just really a nice, nice vehicle. I love the green lensed headlamps actually on the front. And a uh, little bit of dirt or smudge. I think I bought this pre-owned from a dealer off of eBay. So between those two, um, I might not have two cooler cars in my collection. All right, next up we'll look at a, I found this Johnny Lightning recently. I didn't have many or any Gran Torino sports despite all the Hot Wheels Gran Torinos out there. I haven't found any that I was really pleased with just because they all seem to have mismatched wheels. I know there is a newer premium out there with uh, real riders. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to get it though, just to be honest, just because of those wheels. They bother me. So let's look at this Johnny Lightning. Um, this is a third generation Torino. This is from their Street Freaks and it's part of the Blacked Out series. Grand Torinos were made 68 to 76, actually named after a city in Italy, Turin, uh, which is called the Detroit of Italy or the Italian Detroit. It's basically the same as the Mercury Montego. We looked at one of those not too long ago. There are three different versions of the Torino. There are the basic Torino, the Gran Torino, and then this is a Gran Torino Sport. This is all black, smoked out wheels, a little bit of striping on the side, side marker lamps right on the money grill looks good painted lamps you can get forward on the hood there it's an opening hood Let's see if I can get you a little bit of detail on shot it, it doesn't open too much I'm not gonna force it blue air filter I see it still lays flush so I want to keep it that way black interior tough to see in the light uh, part of it being in the blacked out series, but a great license plate on the back. Black Ford, looks like a Michigan tag. Look at that great badge on the rear, on the trunk. So, Grand Torino Sport. Um, sharp car. Norev and, and Johnny Lightning are not 164 scale, and you can see that right in front of you. Nothing super special about this one. Just didn't have this one from the Matchbox Mustang series. I've got all the other plain Jane models. But this classic orange coupe looks really good to me. Good detail on the lamps on the front. Great wheels that are what Matchbox are using right now. Coming around on the rear. Nailed it on the rear. This is a 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe. Orange base, gray interior, tinted windows, gray on the base. 19 Mustang Ford Coupe. I love just basic stock versions. So, <clears throat> last two. A couple of best of Matchbox that I was able to track down. I wanted this Alpha because the Hot Wheels version does not have the bumpers. It has the GTA Sprint, I guess, spec, um, where they've taken the bumpers off and made it just the way it was on the rally. So I like this one. It's a little bit more of a stock look. I think it's supposed to be the same car in the rally mode, but they've got the chrome bumpers on it. And I, I appreciate that. These come with a metal body, a plastic base, but you do get rubber tires. This thing is begging me for a wheel swap. Those those tires don't uh, they don't fit it on a on a vintage or a stock car. Um, best of the world. See right there. Full detail on the lamps. 
just really, really appreciate the bumpers. And I think I'll put some more conservative wheels on that thing. But nonetheless, an awesome, awesome casting. I'll have to, I'll probably need to take it apart also to take care of that chrome interior. You have to have the chrome interior to get the chrome bumpers, but that's just not going to work for me either. Last one, the one I'm most excited. This is the one that made me actually pull the trigger when I was on eBay. I don't have any 914 in my collection. Um, it's too cool a car to not have any of them. I know there's some mainline Matchbox out there. When I saw this one with the wheels that it has on it, I had to get it. Um, you'll see why here in a second. Check out the wheels on this. Just spot on, rubber tires. My thinking is, I don't normally buy race cars. My thinking is, I'm going to knock these tampos off one way or the other. Either I'll repaint the whole car or just remove them with a dry erase marker or acetone. Um, I'll lose the 914 badge on the rear if I have to use, if I have to respray the whole thing. But you do get the Porsche logo across the windscreen, which will be super cool. And again, you've got the chrome interior. I've got to fix that as well. But the car itself, really amazing. I love this car. Um, everyone in Europe probably knows this, but I didn't know this. This vehicle was actually a collaboration with Volkswagen. It uh, replaced the Carmen Ghia. It was 109 horsepower and uh, not a lot to it. Just one of the coolest cars ever though. So this is the 914.6 and this is also part of the Matchbox Best of the World. So those are the ones I've got for you today. Um, we went for quality over quantity this round. I'm really pleased with these additions. Uh, let me know which one's your favorite below. And uh, I'll check you out on the next one. We're going to head out of town for about 9 to 10 days. I'll try and do a peg hunting video. I think I've located a store in America that actually stocks Majorette. So if I find that and it is the case, then we'll do some peg hunting for Majorette in the United States, which is pretty rare. Pretty rare. I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a great day and stay safe.